everyone. We would like to welcome to our 2020 summer reading program. My name is Marie Nash and I'm Sandra. Well, this year's theme is Imagine Your Story. My favorite story when I was growing up was Snow White and Sleeping Beauty. How about you, Sandra? You know, I like Cinderella. Yeah, they're both a great story. Today, what we want to do is show you examples of what we've done, and we're going to help let you go along with us to create your own awesome mirror. Here are a few of them that we've already created. I know you would love them. We have this one, flowers. We even have something for the boys. Mm -hmm. This one is created with game pieces. You want to talk about this one? And this one, for our nature lovers, we went outside and we got uh, acorn and leaves and just pieces of sticks. And you can add those to your mirror. So they don't all have to be girly. We can also have boys to participate in the first program also. Because we have lots and lots of handsome boys. Yes. Now, what we want to do is tell you the items that you would need to create your awesome mirror. Okay. The first thing you're going to need is cardboard. Now you can use just cardboard or you can use poster board. Okay. What we did was we just got this plain cardboard that you can draw on. Once you have your cardboard, you can go to your computer or you can freehand just draw your mirror. But if you don't want to draw it, you can just go to your computer and use a template. And these are some of the examples that we took offline. And you just cut them out. And some other things you're going to need is a glue gun. Mm -hmm. Spray paint. Mm -hmm. Items that you find outside. Game pieces, like we said, if you have a game at home, and you're missing some of the pieces, you can always use these things to create your fantastic mirror. Right. And of course, we have the little jewel pieces that you can find at any Walmart, Hobby Lobby, or Michael's store. You can also have your, your glue, markers, and paint, scissors for this project. Now the two things you, you're gonna need to glue your items to your actual mirror, you can use Elmer's glue or you can use a hot gun. Now, we always wanna practice safety measures. Right. So if you're gonna use a hot glue gun, make sure you have proper supervision when you're using that. Now the first thing we wanna do, like I said, you're gonna get your cardboard, then you're gonna trace your item and when you trace it, it should look something like this. And once you trace download it. Download these from off the computer. Of course, download these from off the computer if you don't want to just freehand. And when you cut it out, it'll look something like this. And it can be an open pattern or a closed pattern. Mm -hmm. And once you finish cutting out everything, we just took a can of spray paint because it's faster and spray painted it and it dries within two or three seconds. You can either use gold or silver. Or you can also use pink as we've done in our grand I'm Awesome mirror here. Mm -hmm. Now, once you've painted your mirror and, and it's dry, you're going to use either your Elmer's glue mm -hmm. or your hot glue gun. Okay. And so what you're gonna do is continue to add your pieces on in any design that you like. Because as I said before, there is not a wrong or right way. It's your project and you can create it the way you want. And as you see, I am filling in and it will be done in just a moment. And I will have my own awesome mirror. See, 
Now, we have one other step to add to it, if you want. And this is where we will add some aluminum foil um, to create that mirror shiny look if that's what you want and this is optional it's, it's, it's if you want to do this it's up to you just take a small piece of aluminum foil that you can borrow from your mom's kitchen and you just put it underneath and you're going to glue it down and you're going to trim the edges right and you can do that like so and remember, you can always use Elmer's glue. It just takes a little longer to dry. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's pretty secure. And now we're gonna trim the edges. Trusty scissors. Again, be very careful when you're using a hot glue gun or scissors, because you don't want to cut yourself or burn yourself. So always have an adult to kind of assist you with that, help you along. Okay. Right there. Okay. Clean, clean, clean. We're behind ourselves. And this is your finished product. Yay! Okay. So it's no different than the ones we've made before. It's just your own creation. It's what you want to create. Beautiful. And your imagination can get wild with this project. Okay. I would also like to tell you with the same project for our fellas where we created the pieces, the game pieces, and for the nature one, we also used our imagination and we designed a sword. Now with this one, all you need is your cardboard. You can go online, print off a template for a sword, trace it the same way we did with the mirror, and you can razzle dazzle your sword with some of the items that left over from the collection. This is an awesome sword for an awesome person. And one of the things I wanted to let you know that we offer is Hoopla and it's free. All you need is a library card. And they um, we offer music, audio books, eBooks, comics and TV shows and many other things. So have fun. Yes. And another thing, if you don't have a library card, guess what? The library offers e-cards. All you need to do is go online. Once you go on the line, you can uh, click on it, get your e-card, which is instant, and it will allow you to check out things, Hoopla, and check our website for our calendar where you can see other libraries, what they're doing, events, programs, because we want you to always keep in tune with the Birmingham Public Library and have an awesome, awesome summer. Bye. Bye. Bye.